Greetings to everyone who is watching and listening to me right about now. I have a very, very powerful word of encouragement for you, my brothers and sisters, those who are watching me, those that are new to this channel. Please, I encourage you, I request you actually to subscribe to this channel so that you may never miss out on these words. Remember, every single day I release these powerful words. There are people that have sent me messages of how they have received confirmations. Some of them have sent me messages of how they have received their miracles. When I prayed for them, and the Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Have someone pray for you. You are not watching this message by mistake. You have not clicked on this video by coincidence. There is a reason as to why this video has been uh, suggested actually to you. It is for a very big reason. And at this time, so brothers and sisters, listen to the words that I'm about to say carefully. Today's word is actually, you can defeat your enemy. And you need only one thing to defeat your enemy. It could be a testimony. One testimony from you can defeat your enemy. The Bible says it clear that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. See how powerful a testimony is to overcome the enemy. Some of you need one, one word to proceed out of you to defeat your enemy. The Bible says declare, you shall de the Bible says declare, you shall declare and decree a thing and it shall be established. Until now, some of you have not really learned how to declare and decree a thing. Declare and decree things and it shall be established. Declare. You only need one thing. It could be fasting. One fast like this. One prayer like this, it can strike down your enemy. I'm telling you. So keep on praying. Let no one actually tell you that what you're doing is a waste of time. No, keep on praying. I want to read to you a very powerful word, which is from the book of First Samuel. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 40 to 49. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 40 to 49. The Bible says it clear. Then he took his staff in his hand and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in the shepherd's bag in a porch which he had and his sling was in his hand and he drew near to the Philistine. So the Philistine came and began drawing near to David. And the man who bore the shield went before him. And when the Philistine took, and when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy and good looking. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cast David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give you, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day, I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the air of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. 47 says, Then all 
his assembly, on all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not save with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. So it was when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. Then David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone, and he slung it, and it struck the Philistine in his forehead, so that the stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the earth. What a very powerful and amazing word. David and Israel were challenged to battle by Goliath and the Philistines. When Goliath saw David, the Bible says, he mocked him. I'm just paraphrasing. He mocked him. He actually despised the God of David. David did not give up. He did not give up. Some of you, there are people that have seen you. Enemies have seen you. It seems like your enemy is so big. Some of you are facing a mountain that is so high. But I'm telling you, faith as small as a mustard seed. You shall say to this mountain, be the moved and cast into the sea and it shall be so. I may not know what mountain you're going through. I may not know what problem has come up against you. What predicament is in your way. But I'm here to assure you, you are going to overcome your enemy. You are going to defeat your enemy. You only need one thing and that is faith. You need faith. If you have faith in Christ Jesus, you are going to move that mountain. Look at what David did. He gathered five stones. Listen, he gathered five stones, but he used one stone. He needed only one stone. Maybe the other four stones were for Goliath, and for, for, for Goliath's brothers. Maybe. Who knows? But he used one stone to defeat Goliath. Some of you think you need a lot of things to defeat your enemy. You only need one thing. You are so close to your breakthrough. You are so close to your miracle than before. Let no one lie to you. Don't allow the lies of the enemies to get in your head. You see, the reason as to why Goliath was still mocking David is because he wanted David to have fear. But David did not give in to fear. David did not give in to fear. Because, you see, the enemy uses fear as a weapon to intimidate the children of God. As long as you stand in faith and reject fear, you will win the enemy. Have faith in God. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, shalom.